we're looking at. We're looking at the PMP Big Boy, and this was a gift. And I'm not gonna lie, I really like this knife a lot. Uh, thanks again to Winston. I'm glad he sent this along. So, you guys know what time it is. We're gonna do a first day in pockets, so we're not gonna spend a lot of time here. Turn down the volume, here comes a little bit of music. Uh, like I said in the little intro, this is that PMP uh, big boy, and this was a gift. You saw the unboxing here just recently. I had could not wait. I have other knives that I really do need to get to because they have to go back to people. This thing impressed me right out of the box, so it's in our in my pocket. So I carried it yesterday, and I used it a lot today. And this was a gift from one of the paying members, Winston Cabretti. And if you watch the video, he sent a lot of gifts. He sent this. He sent a couple of jack. This is a nice fleece that I've been keeping out here in the garage. Um, I will say that uh, I used the excuse of, oh, it was a gift or I want it or something like that so many times that my wife doesn't buy it anymore. I literally had to show her the text where he told me that this was a gift. So if you're gonna send something as a gift, I would ask that you include a note saying it's a gift because my wife does not buy it anymore. And she's like a CIA interrogator. So at any rate, that's enough of that fun. Um, let's turn this around, take a real quick look at this from above. I've only carried it for a day or so. Uh, I did play with a lot when I first opened it. I actually sharpened it because I wanted to give it every bit of a good shot. It is in 14C, so you know it's going to cut well. Uh, so let's turn it around and take a good look at it from above. I don't know if you can tell I'm excited about this knife. Um, so let's take a look at it from above. You, you guys hear that? You know As that was my military industrial complex alarm clock. Uh, I, I literally live three miles from a naval air station, and that's what it's like on Sunday mornings. At any rate, this is the PMP Big Boy. This came to me from Winston Cabretti, one of my paying members. This thing is amazing, and you saw from the title, I think I'm in love. I really am surprised at how much I like this knife. I will tell you something that is out of character. It pushed this out of my pocket for the day. Like I did not carry this. today. Yesterday was the first day in a very long time that this did not wind up in my pocket at all because I was carrying this as my big folder. Guys, this thing so far has been amazing. Super, super light. I do, let's get the one bad, there's only one bad thing I've found so far this pocket clip. You can see so far already, this was a brand new knife, came out of package, I've carried it a day, and you could see this thing, like it will drop all the way into the lock. It, it's not a good pocket clip. I'm gonna try and find a way to find a replacement pocket clip for it. But everything else about the knife so far is good enough that I'm overlooking the pocket clip, and that's out of character for me. Um, so, so far, Carrie, I did cut down some cardboard and stuff like that. I used this for a prop for the, the uh, what was that, that, the KPL blade shield stuff, um, but I had done a bunch of cutting. I put a fresh edge on it, uh, only took it to 1,000 grit, actually technically 1,100, uh, because I wanted to get this every fair shot. The edge did not come ultra sharp. I mean, it was sharp, but it wasn't super sharp. Um, but everything else about it is great. This thing comes down super thin. I haven't measured it yet uh, behind the edge thickness. Uh, I'm gonna save that for the full review, but it is a full flat grind all the way down to a very, very thin behind the edge uh, 14C28 and blade. So this thing, I cut down some, I cut down some cardboard with it. I had a bunch of stuff uh, that had come in, uh, the box that, that Winston sent all this stuff in and, and some other stuff had come in for review. And so I cut down on the cardboard with it. This thing screams through cardboard, guys. This thing is like a laser. Um, it is a relatively large knife. Let's go ahead and look at it. It's coming in at about eight and three quarters, I'd say, just about nine inches. It, it's not a lie. It's a big boy, but it is really comfortable in hand. And this thing is so super light. 
That's what struck me first of all when I opened the box was how light it is. And if you look, look how much weight reduction they've done inside that knife. Lock bar access is just about perfect. It's not scalloped out to the point where it feels unusual. Sometimes what happens is people will make this spot so low to give you access that then it feels weird. So what PMP did was they lowered it a little bit and then took some material out there and that offsets it a little bit and do it doesn't have to be as low here and tall here. If you take some of that material out, you've, you basically have given yourself a little lip to get a hold of. Jimping on it so far, I, I don't, it, it's, it's just about average jumping. It's not quite vestigial, but it's also not super aggressive. It's got some jumping on the flipper, which is more than adequate. Flipper tab is really comfortable. I have not found that it bothers me. It it comes up and it's not huge. It's not like a big old pocket pecker like, like Nick Shabazz likes to say. Minimal marking on the blade. Just the model number, other, other side is sterile. Really nice looking hardware. Uh, I have had it apart and cleaned it. Like I said, I do that typically with every knife that comes in. I take it apart, clean it. I make sure I put the lubrication on that I prefer. That way it gets a fair shot on action and everything like that. The action on it is almost, well, I guess it's drop shot, but it's a very light blade because it's so thin. It's thin blade stock and it's ground thin. So I'm digging it so far. Last thing I wanted to mention, let's go ahead and bring in the packaging. Guys, if you know me, I'm a sucker for good packaging. This came with some minimal cardboard box packaging that was pretty plain, looked like recycled uh, cardboard. And then it came with this nice uh, semi-rigid, almost hard case with their logo on it. I honestly did not know it was a knife at first. He didn't really tell me what any of this stuff was. It just came and I thought maybe it was a pair of sunglasses because everything else in it was pretty much like clothing and stuff. Um, and it came with a card with their information. I do know in the unboxing, I said PMK knives and I apologize, it's a PMP, but it has all this information. Thank you for purchasing one of my PMP knives and I wish you much joy with this PMP knife. It comes with a QR code. It takes you to their website and stuff like that. Really kind of cool um, using QR code stuff. I like QR code stuff. Um, the actual jury duty notice I have, it comes with a, a, a little QR code on it so you can actually virtually check in to see if you have to report. Uh, so this is really nice packaging. I like it. Uh, they did a really good job on it. This would be something, this is another one of those things, like good cases for knives I typically keep. Uh, because, you know, if there's a chance that I might part ways with this knife someday, it's nice to have the original packaging with it. So I don't think it's going to happen. One, it was a gift. Two, it was a very good gift. Uh, Winston apparently knows me really well because this pretty much, with the exception of the pocket clip, hits all the little bells and whistles and little sweet spots of things I like in a knife. It's got really nice angles. It's really comfortable in hand. The action is great. It's in a steel I really love and it comes down and it almost disappears behind the edge. And it is screaming sharp, guys. So there you go. First day in pockets, first impressions of the PMP big boy. That was a gift. So let's turn this around, do some final thoughts. So yeah, guys, like I said, at the tabletop, great knife, only the one issue I wish, I'm gonna have to find a replacement pocket clip for it. Uh, this is one of those cases where the knife so far is so good that I'm like, yeah, I hate the pocket clip, but I don't really care. Um, I just, I don't like these pockets. This one really, really walks. So um, super thin blade. Winston, thank you once again. Been a huge benefactor to the channel. Um, he's so far given me three knives um, and a bunch of other stuff, like I said, including this really nice fleece that I have my Rebel Scum patch on. I'm going to rotate patches through. I think I'm going to film in this a lot because it's comfortable and it, it's when it's out here in the garage and it's chilly. It's, it's nice. Um, so yeah, basically guys, that's it on this one. It's just first day, first carry, uh, first impressions. So, uh, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. Please try to tell me why I can't change the content. If you don't tell me what you don't like, uh, if you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit that bell so that you get notified of everything I put up. I've been putting up a lot more content these days, uh, a lot of shorts and stuff like that. So just to make sure you don't miss anything, I would advise that. Um, other ways you can support the channel if you would like. I have, all of these are in the description below. I have a membership where you can get in on a monthly membership. You get exclusive content. You get a bunch of different benefits. Uh, I have a gilded server that's a chat server that we hang out in. A lot of us, I do movie days. 
through the chat server to an outside place where we watch movies and we all chat while we're doing it, like video chat. Uh, and you save $5 per knife on my sharpening service. And if you're a premium tier member, you get access to my sharpening tutorial series that I have up. So that's the best way. Other ways you can do it, I have affiliate links down below. Anything you purchase, uh, I get a portion of it at checkout. Uh, it doesn't, and it doesn't cost you anything. They just pay me for bringing it to you. The final way is I have a merchandise store on Ember Shirt Co. I set up a coupon code that works anywhere on Ember Shirt Co. It's Crazy Sharp, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word. Saves you 10% at checkout anywhere at Ember Shirt Co. And if you send me pictures of you wearing my merchandise, I will put them in a video. Guys, I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video.